Yeah, I'm just making this video because I was minding my business um, at the gym. I look over and I see this big, all fat booty in the mirror. And it was me. Okay, so I was shook. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a fitness transformation, basically, um, of my glutes, my glute progress. Here's a picture from 2021 to now. I really didn't realize how much change has happened until I put like the two photos together and I was just like, there also has been a lot of changes in my routine, the way I'm doing things, a lot more knowledge. Um, so I want to share it with you guys. Just also a disclaimer, this photo from 2021 is still years of lifting. I, I started my fitness journey in 2017, started lifting. The photo technically isn't like a start of my fitness journey. Um, this is still years into lifting. This is just when kind of the panoramic happened um everything was shut down i had no motivation i hit a plateau and then this is to me now i am finally out of that plateau and my routine has changed um so i'm going to share it with you guys as you guys know i post my fitness content online for free whether you want to take it or not is up to you it's fine um and I also want to make a disclaimer, I do not have any work done besides my lips. I have gotten lip filler, but my glutes and body are natural. Um, genetics do play a role, which we will get into, but it is gym built um, and you can achieve results from the gym. Not everyone has bought their body. I think BBLs are dying. Let's hope the BBL trend is dying because I promise you ladies, you, if with proper training and proper nutrition, results can be made. And I feel like we're seeing it so often, especially with TikTok, because everyone has more access to the correct knowledge now. And everyone is just like seeing these crazy results finally. So it is possible you do not have to have surgery to make crazy gains. So if you wanna see what I changed, just keep watching also hit that subscribe button I always say so always take progress pictures and standing straight posing etc take as many pictures as you can because comparing progress photos really is a huge motivating factor and definitely keeps me consistent because if I see the growth it motivates me it's like yes my hard work is paying off being consistent is paying off and it just makes it so much more enjoyable to go because you know you have to stay consistent in order to see results. So always take progress pictures, ladies. We'll start, this is 2021. Um, at the time, I thought my glutes were like massive. Uh, looking back at photos, I really don't feel like they were. This is when the lockdown happened. I don't necessarily know if my gym shut down. I just know I have really bad OCD and I did not feel comfortable going to the gym. So I tried to do workouts at home, but let's be honest, working out at home, I don't have the same motivation and I don't push myself as hard as I would at the gym. I also don't have access to heavy weights like I do at the gym. So my motivation and love for fitness honestly just kind of disappeared. It was non-existent anymore. So I would say maybe once a week I was uh, doing some booty exercises. My training was also all over the place like my knowledge of stuff. So like my workouts were just, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, and my training just wasn't as structured as it should have been. I thought I was bulking, but realistically, like I would eat a lot one day and then not be hungry the next at all. So I was not being consistent in my bulk. I'm not saying you have to bulk to get build muscle. You can be in a caloric maintenance and still build muscle, but for me, I have a hard time putting on weight, so I was trying to bulk. I just wasn't doing it correctly or being consistent with literally anything. I was in a plateau. Fast forward to when the gyms start opening up, things get more lenient. I went back to the gym. I was doing legs like three times a week. My workout was just kind of all over the place. It wasn't structured to be most optimal for the gains. Uh, to now, 
I train legs two times a week, upper body also. Um, I am consistent at the gym. I finally found my passion again. I have fun at the gym. I'm consistent. I'm consistent with my caloric intake and I really push myself through my reps, sets, workouts, etc. Like I'm going until failure. Genetics play a huge role in how quickly you put on muscle, where your body stores fat. Um, naturally, I had a bubble shape even before lifting. It wasn't big, but it did have a nice shape. So I think that has definitely contributed to how quickly I am able to build muscle and put on weight in my glute area. Two people can train the exact same, eat the exact same, and their bodies could still look completely different. So just keep that in mind. Never compare your journey to someone else's. Because again, you could train the exact same, but your body, like your genetics are still different. And so therefore the results can still be different. I train for hypertrophy. There's endurance training, there is strength training. Hypertrophy isn't the only way to train. However, it is the most optimal based on studies and research for muscle growth. Example of training for hypertrophy would be your number of sets. So the most optimal so hypertrophy, you would stick to the three to five set range. Rep ranges, you would stick between six to 12 and resting for two to three minutes. Now that is the most optimal for hypertrophy. And you wanna make sure you are progressive overloading. Whether that is with your sets, reps, weight, or time under tension, make sure you are really pushing yourself and increasing in those things. Because if you're doing this, say, you do 10 reps at the same weight every time, you're not really pushing your body, your body is gonna get used to it, and you really need to be pushing your body. I also never put my weight just because what I lift might be heavier or lighter than what works for you. So always pick a weight that challenges you in the 6 to 12 rep range. Go slow and controlled with the movements. If you go fat, like, yeah. I used to go really fast through the reps, which were honestly doing nothing for me. So slow and controlled. Push yourself with the rep numbers. Pick a weight that actually challenges you. If the weight is too light, increase it. Pushing yourself and challenging yourself in the gym, you will really see results. I feel like I was slacking on that. And having a properly structured workout plan. So I go in the gym now with, I write it down in my notes. That way I can get in, get out. And that way I'm not all over the place at the gym. I always start my workouts with warm-up stretches, so I, so I do dynamic stretches before just to kind of warm up the muscles. There, I have a whole video on the benefits of that. And then I do my compound lifts. Compound lifts are so important. Um, and then I'll do some isolated and accessory movements after. But I always start with my compound lifts. I also want to talk about how I kind of limited the exercises I do in my leg days. Back in 2021, I was doing a lot. I was doing too many movements. And ladies, less is more, 100%. I now do like four, maybe five exercises a leg day and then just do more sets of those movements. I'll do usually four or five exercises per leg day and between three to five sets for the movements. So um, my leg days, I only do two. I drop from three to two, like I had said. I do a hamstring and glute focus leg day and a glute and quad focus leg day. But rest is so important and I feel like really switching from two to three really helped because rest and recovery, like I said, it's so important for muscle growth. Um, that's when muscle growth happens. So if you are constantly hitting legs and not giving your muscles time to repair, your hard work is being thrown out the window. You can do three leg days. However, most people have way too much volume. And so it's just not optimal. So two is much better than three, in my opinion. Only doing two allowed me to go heavier and push myself more on those two other leg days. Whereas the third, I'd be pretty dead and my lift wouldn't be good. Well, definitely take advantage of rest and recovery and watch how much you do grow. Yeah. 
And then next we'll talk about eating. Like I said, I thought I was in a surplus back then, but realistically, I would eat a lot one day, nothing the next. I'd forget to hit my protein goal. Like I, it just was not consistent. So now I am being consistent. I am making sure that I hit my protein goal at least five times out of the week. As for diet, you guys know I do not restrict myself. I do not believe in a restrictive diet, especially I used to have a binge eating disorder. Um, so me restricting myself from foods would just lead to me eventually binging on that and in large quantities um so if i want a cookie if i want pizza if i want to go have a meatball sub i will do that but then maybe for my next meal it'll be healthier like chicken broccoli rice um i make sure to drink two of my protein shakes i love the my protein clear way lemonade flavor i used to drink two heavy chocolate ones and it was like it was too much it made me nauseous because like I'm not craving chocolate that much but after the gym just drinking the lemonade like putting it in my water with some ice I chugged it so much easier than I would like a chocolate protein shake I will still have my chocolate peanut butter one at night but the clear way for my protein like the lemonade flavor is so much easier to drink than a thick heavy one um, twice a day I was doing that twice a day so it's just so much easier to do um, the clear one that's like lemonade flavor it's like putting a flavor packet in your water yeah and it's like 20 grams boom right there like my main points of things that I have changed and gotten better about that have really made me see results also I think keeping it simple is always best um, you know simple movements uh, you don't have to overcomplicate a new or in reinvent a new exercise um like i see a lot of influencers do like fitspos that are unnecessary and like why change a good thing okay so the last thing also you do not have to change up your workout every leg day even every two weeks like that's too, like stick to the same movements and progress in those because if you're constantly changing up those movements how are you going to progressively overload in them if you're constantly doing something new so I haven't changed my pro like how I'm working out and honestly has it been eight weeks honestly you don't even have to if you don't need to because I do again compound lifts progressive overload in so many different ways so you do not have to constantly change your leg day every leg day. So I basically do the same movements for my glute and hamstring and glute and quad day. I just progressively overload in those movements. So if you have a trainer who is like, all right, we're going to do this one leg day and then this the other and they're completely different and they're constantly changing your program, run. Please run. <laughs> That's basically everything that I have changed and really fixed in my workout program. Train for hypertrophy, less is more, compound stick to your compound movements so i ditched the resistance bands that used to be something huge that i would do because i saw people that i looked up to and that were personal trainers telling me to do that so i was like all right i'm gonna do whatever they say or whatever they do you don't need the um resistance bands 100 percent don't i got rid of them i never use them i just do dynamic stretches before my leg day as my warm-up um, you also really don't want to if you do love resistance bands and want to continue using them do them after your workout not before because you don't want to fatigue your muscles before you get into your heavy compound lifts so definitely do not do resistance band stuff as warm-ups warm-ups if you do love them and want to keep them in your routine definitely just do them like after your compound lifts I also want to get in touch with like how I got my motivation back after being out for so long and inconsistent I feel like taking a break is good because you can come back ten times stronger because after a while you know I started to crave the endorphins that lifting gave me and I missed it and I missed having that joy and I think going on TikTok and like relearning stuff or learning new inform new correct information just gave me a lot more hope because obviously during the pandemic I was like not seeing any results I wasn't being consistent but my info was just I was learning from TikTok 
finally years after lifting that a lot of the info I had been taught and told was wrong so kind of finding like finding that out and then being like all right I want to go apply these new things that I have learned and see if they work and seeing the results that came from it honestly motivated it brought my motivation back also going on TikTok and seeing these girls back at the gym absolutely smashing their workouts made me miss it and made me want to go back that's just kind of how I got my motivation back and then obviously once I started seeing results uh I I wanted to be consistent you also have to have discipline because motivation is not going to be there 24 7 so discipline over motivation 100 percent you have to know that you have to be consistent in order to see those results you want and that even on those days that you just don't want to get ready and go you gotta go but also if you are sick don't feel well take the day off take take some rest because rest can be beneficial and I don't think you should ever, I don't think anyone should ever promote the rise and grind type of attitude. Like even if you're on sick days, you gotta go. If you are sick, stay home. If you don't feel good or if your mental state is just absolutely not good that day, take time off for yourself 100% and then just try again the next day. Ladies and gentlemen, muscle takes time to build. You have to be patient. You have to be consistent. I hope these tips help. Definitely let me know if you try them out. So I'm so excited to show you guys my new routine that I have seen crazy results 2021 to now. And yeah, that's how I started my YouTube. I wanted to share my fitness journey and just post it there. And because I love doing this, I love sharing this stuff with you guys. And I love when you guys try out my workouts and send me your thoughts on them. I, I just wanted to share my journey and share my workouts because it's fun. I love putting this content out for you guys. I love interacting with you guys. We're all besties here. And so that's why I do this and that's why I post it for free. I'm not here like, oh, let me get all these followers so I can put out a workout program. No, I don't care about that. If I did, I would have had one out by now, but that's not why I'm here. I share my journey for free because I want to and I enjoy it and I, yeah. That's my little rant, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos. And I wanted to share this with you because I have gotten so many DMs after posting like my progress photos side by side because even I was shocked. Um, please let me know if you give these tips a try and please share your results with me. I would love to see. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can join our little family and uh, we can all be besties. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.